Yo, what's going on guys? EK9 here, bringing you guys another video. So today I decided to ask the question, how would Wayne Gretzky do on the current day Edmonton Oilers? And as you guys can see, we did pair him alongside Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. We did make him a 98 overall only because certain stats like his body checking, his fighting skill, stuff like that weren't exactly maxed out. We did give him 99 on all puck skills. Um, almost 99s in all skating. We only changed the acceleration to 98, stuff like that. So we're going to play and see exactly how well he can play in today's game. So would he be able to put up the 2,800 points? And we'll see exactly how that looks. So we're going to sim the season here, see exactly how he does. So we're going to sim about halfway through, and then we'll, uh, we'll take a look and see exactly how he's doing just to see so they win game one lose game two already two and two there we go Oilers on a big win streak oh lost there couple losses so seven six and one not too bad a start not a bad season to start still in the positives here now we're starting to lose games there's a couple big wins our oh, second oh Fourth in the uh, Pacific's not too bad right now. Beat Colorado. 14th, 15, 13, and 2. So almost halfway into the season. We're getting around Christmas time. And here's a look at Wayne Gretzky. So Wayne Gretzky, guys, has 60 points in 36 games. That's what we're seeing right here. Connor McDavid almost matching him, though. Uh, Gretzky is more of a shooter this year. He's got 35 goals, 25 assists. So already into the season, uh, not even halfway in, he's already got 60 points, which is really good for him. And we'll sim it to the rest of the season to see exactly how it looks. Maybe a playoff team. I'm not exactly sure if Wayne Gretzky is good enough to really carry the Oilers that much. But look at this. Now they're on a big win streak here. Back to second in the Pacific too as well. Oh, starting to go on a bit of a losing streak. Oh, back here. Oh, 8-7 against the Leafs. Wow, that's a high score in a fair right there. Back to third. So, doing pretty good. Losing a few here. This is starting to look a little bit rougher, but still managing to hold on to a potential playoff spot. Uh-oh, losing these key game so oh my goodness what a big losing streak that we just ended there uh, we're losing a Pacific Division team that's really hurting us right there oh, we're just losing almost all of these games here we hit 40 wins so at the end of the season guys 42 35 5 not a playoff team but how good is Wayne Gretzky so Wayne Gretzky at the end of the season finished with 121 points. So among the league, is he considered the number one player? He finished in first by 22 points. He did have a plus 17 playing on a, a pretty mediocre Oilers team. So if we give or take his point total in this season and multiply that by, let's just say, 17, let's go 18 seasons, he would put up 2,100 points. So he would still be the leading point getter of all time, which is really interesting. And he had 68 goals in 82 games, guys, with 53 assists. He was playing phenomenal. Look at McDavid's got 30 goals. 91 assists, so they complement each other really nicely there. I will take a look and see exactly how much different his stats are compa uh, compared to the rest of the team. Dreisaitl finished with 82 points. Hopkin, uh, Nugent Hopkins with 75 points. James Neal at 50. Nygaard, 35. Uh, Chaison, 35. Darnell Nurse, 34. Cassian, 28. So a big dip in points from everyone else other than McDavid and Gretzky. So, Wayne Gretzky, if he was playing on the current day Oilers, give or take, would be, you know, 
not as good, obviously, as his stats were in the past, but he still lives up to the potential that he is still one of the greatest of all time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.